in this particular session we are going to discuss the algorithm on insertion operation on hip tree in the previous video we have discussed how the insertion operation can be carried out with one example how the insertion operation can be carried out with one example so please watch the previous videos because those videos are in the continuation okay in the first video we have discussed that as hip tree is a complete binary tree so it will be better if you go for the linear representation of the hip tree in the computer's memory that means hip tree will be uh, stored in an array and it was also mentioned that the kth node will have its left child at the two star k place and the kth node kth node on the uh, linear array will be having its right child at two star k plus one plus and the kth node will have its parent at k by 2 for floor of that location so we have discussed everything and those concepts will be used in this particular algorithm for hip tree insertion so here is the algorithm let me explain this algorithm line by line here this algorithm is having the name ins hip ins hip means insertion on the hip it is having three parameters three parameters are there the first parameter is the tree that is the array it is a tree array and next parameter means how many number of data are there residing in the tree it does not indicate the size of the array the size of the array might be long enough but we are having some limited number of data pre-existing on this particular tree array so this is my n and item is the new data going to be inserted here we have we have shown you that always the data will be inserted at the last location so if n is the number of data existing from location number 1 to location number n then the data will be inserted at the n plus 1 plus and that is a freeze place and then I shall compare it with the parents and if required then I shall go for reheaping operation otherwise it will be remaining as it is reheaping operation will be required when the parent node value is less than this item so item will go up and the parent nodes content will be coming down and this process will be repeated so reaping will be there may or may not be depending upon the value of the parent node and the item so n is equal to n plus 1 so I'm increasing the number of data obviously in an array is containing n number of data after insertion obviously the number of data will be incremented by 1 and this n will be the free space so lock is nothing but a variable which is pointing to the free space so lock is equal to n while lock is greater than 1 so now this free space will go up until it reach to the max max to max it can reach to the root node and root node will be always at the location number 1 we have discussed that one earlier so that's why if lock is greater than 1 then only there is a finite chance to have a parent for this particular lock plus so parent will be locked by two floor of that we discussed that one earlier so lock means the free space so locked by two floor of that you are getting the location of the parent okay now if item is less than equal to tree par what is the tree tree is the name of the array so the location content at the par location content that is the parent value is greater than this item or equal to greater than equal to this item that means there is no need to have my reheaping so tree free space that is a lock is equal to item and return return means the rest part will become will remain unreachable so here the control will be returned when when the item is less than equal to tree part but let us suppose tree part is lesser than item then what will happen that parent content will be coming to the free space and free space logically will be going up to the parent place at location number so then what will happen tree free space so that is a lock is equal to tree part so parent has come down to the free space and logically the parent place will be now pointed by this lock and so lock is going up going up going up so lock if lock should be greater than one otherwise what will happen let us suppose one tree is existing I'm just giving you the idea here you see here I'm inserting 88 so 88 is my lock so now its parent content is 44 so 44 has come down 
and this lock has gone to this particular place. Now 77 is also lesser than this item 88. So what will happen? This 77 will come down and lock will be going to the place number 1. So this while body will be exe executing when lock is greater than 1. But when the lock will be equal to 1, then it will come out from the while body. And 3, 1 is equal to item and return. So this line will be executed if and only if the item which is going to be inserted is maximum is greater than than the all the values pre-existing in the heap tree. So then this particular item will be will be found at the root node of the complete binary tree. Otherwise from here it can return but if it is not possible then it can return from here also. So tree 1 is equal to item and return. So that is my in SIP operation. I have discussed this in SIP operation with this proper example line by line step by step I have shown. And the same thing has got implemented here through an algorithm. I think you are getting this logic. This in SIP algorithm will be using in our hip shot algorithm. So it is very important to understand. So thanks for watching this video.